what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this topic and we're going to talk about diddy because diddy is back in the news again because the producer by the name of rodney little rod jones is suing him for sa so rodney worked on diddy's last album he was one of the producers on the last album and he lived with sean for over a year from september of 2022 to november of 2023 now during that time rodney is alleging that he recorded hours of video and audio of diddy and his staff and others engaging in serious illegal activity now jones is saying that diddy forced him to procure s workers and pressured him to engage in unwelcome s acts with them and others and that diddy gave laced alcoholic beverages to people who attended parties at his homes. Now it seems as though that Jones has done his due diligence in capturing all the receipts that he needs because this brother says that he has screenshots of under girls and also S workers you know being taken advantage of at Diddy's parties basically drinking those lace alcoholic beverages. Now Jones is saying that Diddy essayed him while he lived with Diddy in Florida, LA, and New York, and as well as on a yacht Combs rented in the US Virgin Islands. Now Jones is saying that he was also forced to work in Diddy's bathroom, that's odd, and he said as Diddy showered, you know, you can see him because it was a glass window, a glass enclosure. And so basically, if he turned around and looked at Diddy, he could see all of Diddy. Now, Jones is also saying that when he raised these concerns about Diddy's behavior to Diddy's chief of staff, he said the chief of staff basically just blew it off and said that it was just friendly horseplay and said that the acts that Diddy was committing towards him were signs that he liked him. Now, Jones is also saying that this same chief of staff assisted in helping Diddy groom him into a gay relationship with Diddy. Now Jones also went into detail saying that Diddy tried to low-key intimidate him. Diddy would make him watch a display of guns and he talked about and bragged about shooting people and getting away with it. Now this suit was filed in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. This is a federal court of course and Rodney is looking for guess what? 30 million dollars does that ring a bell that's the same amount that cassie originally sued diddy for 30 million dollars so can't tell me that these two didn't have any type of conversation behind the scenes before this brother filed this lawsuit against Diddy. now obviously there's a lot more to this lawsuit but before we go there and i start playing clips of people reacting to this new lawsuit i want to start off and kick this thing off with this lady who discovered some blind items that basically were attached to Diddy from back in the day, but they ended up coming out to be true. And so I think this is very educational because a lot of things that were said definitely came to pass. Now, following that, you're gonna get the videos of people reacting to this new lawsuit and stay tuned because I got some information in regards to Diddy's twin daughters actually running away and not wanting to come home. So stay tuned for that, all right? So guys, go ahead and check this out and I'll be back. Here is a deep dive into the last 10 years of Diddy's blind items. And there were a lot of blind items even in the last 10 years, but we are still getting some blind items about his past, including those about Jennifer Lopez and Tupac. So let's get into it. We're starting off in January of 2013. This next beauty is a kept woman in every sense of the word. She is the concubine of a rich, arrogant music mogul who lavishes her with gifts and baubles so she won't know her true self-worth. This one-hit wonder has learned to play the submission game to the T. And this is allegedly Cassie and Diddy. In February of 2013, this a plus list rapper who talks a big game when it comes to women and has had a few high-profile relationships with women has always preferred guys. Fairly open secret. The thing is, he never practiced safe intimacy, and one of his conquests is threatening to sue him, saying the rapper passed on the HIV virus. The rap star has refused to take a test proving that he is negative. And this one is either 50 Cent or P. Diddy, allegedly. In March of 2013, this a plus list celebrity slash producer slash fake rapper loves women, but he likes them to get freaky with him. One of his regulars was with her girlfriend in an adult toy shop, and she kept saying no to her friend and then finally said, blank, P. Diddy, allegedly, likes them to be like a foot long. I honestly don't know how it fits inside of him. 
Also in March, this A-list celebrity rapper and mogul and sometimes reality star is not a huge drinker. At clubs, he will drink and he orders a ton of booze, but he is not like Jay-Z who will actually get hammered. There are times, though, that our celebrity does. If you are an 18 to 22-year-old gay male interested in older men and lots of presents, this is your chance. Our celebrity uses his drinking as an excuse to take the night off from being a ladies' man. He heads to a club and find some willing guys, and then for the rest of the night, they drive around the party bus while our celebrity enjoys getting wild with the guys with no one to see and is passing out money and presents and booze and seemingly at his happiest. When the party is over, he drops them back off at the club and then pretends it all never happened. Just blame it on the booze. In May of 2013, what was supposed to be a great business arrangement went sour really quickly because of some demands this A++ list producer made on this current A++ list celebrity. The, the story of their involvement went to the press and then they had to deny it because she had a problem with the money he was going to pay her for the summer and no problem with the amount of time they were going to spend together. But when he said that he would only go through with everything if they had unprotected intimacy, she she said no, wouldn't budge, he wouldn't budge, she has moved on and already found someone else. And this is allegedly Diddy and Kate Upton. In July of 2013, this a plus list celebrity rapper caused this male escort he had hired to have to go to the hospital after he was abused so violently during intercourse this past week. Our celebrity made him sign an agreement when he arrived and gave him a huge tip when he left. Hope it covered the hospital bill. And this one is allegedly either Diddy, 50 Cent, Kanye West, or Dr. Dre. In August of 2013, this A-list is everything except for movies. He has been in them, but mostly in cameos. Anyway, he has always dabbled in substances and has been busted and exposed in this spot at least once in a reveal and more than once in the blinds. The HGH stare combo he is currently taking right now is worse than anything he has done before. That smack he gave his B-list celebrity girlfriend last week was because he blamed her for his impotence problems. He wants to look good but is starting to lash out at everyone. Don't put a weapon in his hand right now. And again, this is allegedly Diddy and Cassie. In September of 2013, this a plus plus list celebrity and everything else who has had one of the most famous faces in the celebrity world was so messed up on substances this weekend, he was running around telling everyone that they had him confused with his twin brother. The twin brother's name changed periodically over the weekend, but the twin brother also seemed to be way more into men than women. No physical action, but there was a lot of comments and sh innuendos and a lot of adjusting that he had to keep doing to himself when he would see an attractive guy. It lasted the entire weekend. And this is allegedly Diddy at Burning Man. And this last one from 2013 is also in September. This A-plus list celebrity and rapper is not a nice guy. When he gets really frustrated, he takes out his anger on the male escorts he buys for a few hours. They know a beating is coming, but they are prepared to sacrifice a few days of bruising for the monster payments they receive. On Tuesday night, though, our celebrity went overboard, and it is going to take about $100,000 to get a guy to shut up about it. And this is allegedly Diddy, Kanye, or 50 Cent. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur. And so Diddy has just been hit with another lawsuit. And this one is by a producer on his latest album. Uh, let's get into it. Diddy was sued in federal court today by a producer on his most recent album by the name of Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod. He says that for more than a year he was threatened by Diddy, he was he actually harassed, plowed with illegal substances and all of the above, and I find it also nefarious and clearly egregious. Please pay attention. Jones says that from September of 2022 and November of 2023 that he lived with and traveled with Diddy and he recorded hours of video and audio for not only Diddy but his staff and others engaging in serious illegal activity. This all sounds real crazy. What kind of illegal activity were they engaging in? This man is clearly spilling all of the tea. Uh, please pay attention. 
Also, Jones also alleges that Diddy would have him go out and procure SEX workers. He also says that Diddy would force him uh, to have unwelcomed acts with these people and that he also would lace alcoholic beverages and give them to people who came to his home for parties. And I find that extremely interesting because you see Mark Curry, who used to be a writer for Bad Boys, well, he said the same thing. Please pay attention. And this bottle, we used to go to the, when we go to the club, we used to have these bottles, right? And on this bottle, they'd be, they'd be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they'd been have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. So we already knew what the drill was. You just don't mess with them bottles, right? Then all of the girls is in the club after a while. They all running, look, opening up their mouth like little birds. They just run around just popping pills in their mouth. Pop the lawsuit says that they supposedly have screenshots of gatherings at Diddy's home where they had under girls, also SEX workers, and uh, says that these people were giving things that were laced with illegal substances, unbeknownst to them, of course, and at Diddy's direction. Diddy's lawyer, Sean Holly, says that Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. He also says that his reckless name dropping about events that clearly never happened is nothing more than a shameless attempt to garner headlines. He also says they have indisputable and overwhelming evidence to prove that all of the claims are lies and says that when they tried to reach out to his attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, well, they got no response. He's completely ignoring them and hasn't returned any of their calls. Uh, so with that said, I guess they'll see him in court. This is all getting real messy and more problems continue to arise for Diddy. I can't say that he didn't bring this all on himself, uh, but it's going to get even worse and i told you all months ago i said wait until the men start coming out and well here we are now you can pause to read because this is a list of the people that are named in the lawsuit also let me correct myself sean holly diddy's attorney is actually a woman not a man i believe i kept saying he but it's actually a woman but also uh, this is all getting real bad for diddy i see him ending up like r kelly he said days ago that he was a victim of cancel culture and so now he's the victim this is just like a narcissist to go out here and do dirt and then when they get called out on their BS to just act like they're the victim and everyone's just doing them wrong. At the end of the day, I actually think Diddy's a sociopath, uh, but that's just my guess. I just knew it was only a matter of time before Diddy was in the headlines again. And I also knew it was only a matter of time before me and start coming forward. Yeah, Miami name got thrown into the mix because he said that a female cousin of hers we assaulted him. Stevie J name got thrown into the mix because he said Diddy forced him to watch a home engagement act between Stevie J and another individual. And Rodney Jones also submitted evidence saying that Diddy was not only putting drugs in the alcohol, but he was also serving it to underage women. And he submitted these photos to the court. Now, who I did not expect is for Cuban Gooden Jr.'s name to be caught up in the mix. TMZ reported that Jones claims Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooden Jr. on Diddy's yacht and Cuba allegedly began touching, groping, and finding Mr. Jones's leg, his upper thigh near his groin, and the small of his back near his buttocks and his shoulders. And in this picture, they do look a little close, and, and Mr. Jones do look a little uncomfortable. And this man ain't playing. He didn't got Justin caught up in a mix. This man ain't just suing Diddy. He's suing Justin, too, and other various um, executives within Diddy's company. He's suing for a whopping $30 million. What do y'all think about this? All right, so you guys heard all of that. That's what's going down with Diddy. So I don't even want to waste y'all time. I want to go ahead and get into this email that was sent to me in regards to Diddy's daughters running away. Now, before I get into this email, I do want to protect the integrity of my platform and say everything that I'm about to convey to you is all alleged. And it says here, hey man, while I'm still fact checking a whole bunch of ish, I can tell you that a very close friend of Kim Porter's has expressed to me personally that Diddy's daughters refused to return home over a week ago and the whereabouts were unknown until blank, I can't say this person's name, reached out and the girl safely returned to her house and expressed to blank that they did not want to live under the confines and conditions of their dad anymore. They are calling him evil, scary, and are refusing not to be brainwashed or bribed with financial support to cover up the death of their mom. They want answers and Diddy thinks that with the speculation that he was behind the death of Kim can be silenced and forever disbarred from being the topic of conversation or contention within the household. Get back to you soon. Peace King. All right, so you guys just heard all of that. And like I said before, I read this information to you all that this information was all alleged, but I do trust that my plug would not steer me in the wrong direction. 
But anyway, guys, what I want you all to do is drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about everything that was discussed within this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.